The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Sixth chapter, text number 40 through 43. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded in September of 1966 in New York. Nahi Now this word we have been discussing last day that one who falls down, suppose one has entered for spiritual cultivation of life, somewhere or other he is not successful to complete the course, then what happens to him? Oh, <clears throat> that was the question of our this is a very nice question. <coughs> that uh, suppose one enters for cultivation of the spiritual life, somewhere or other, sometimes we do not uh, follow the rules, and sometimes we are entrapped by uh, some feminine uh, attraction. Uh, these are impediments. So we may not be able to make complete uh, progress. So Krishna says that, my dear Krishna, uh, Arjo, uh, uh, <clears throat> Nahi Kallana Krit Kaschit, Durgati, anyone who has attempted even a one percent sincerely culture of spiritual realization, he will never fall down. He will never fall down. That sincerity. Because we are weak and the material energy is very strong. So to adopt spiritual life is more or less declare war against the material energy. The material, the illusory energy, she is trying to curb this conditioned soul as far as possible. Uh, now, when the conditioned soul tries to get out of her classes by spiritual advancement of knowledge, or oh, she becomes more stringent, yes, she wants to test how much this person is sincere. So there will be so many allurement offered by the uh, material energy. Now, there is a story, <coughs> there are many stories, one of them I am citing is very interesting. Vishamitra Muni. Vishamitra Muni, he was a great king, Kshatriya. But uh, he is priest. Vashishtra Mani, uh, he had uh, great spiritual power. So he renounced his kingdom. He wanted to uh, advance. He was kingly, royal order, but still he wanted to advance in the spiritual order. So he adopted yoga process, meditation. Uh, that time it was possible for adopting this process, yoga process. So he was meditating, meditating in such a way that the um, uh, Indra, who was the king of heaven, he thought that this man is trying to occupy my post. As there is competition, uh, this is also, heaven means that is also material world. Uh, so this competition, no businessman wants that another businessman go, uh, go ahead. He wants to cut down. Uh, completion of price, quality. Similarly, that Indra, he thought that this man is so uh, strongly meditating. It may be that uh, I may be deposed and he come to my seat. Then he arranged one of his society girls, Menaka, to go there and allure this Muni. So when Menaka approached that Rishi, 
Vishamitra Rishi. She was meditating, <coughs> and simply by the sound of her bangles, oh, she could understand that there is some omen. And as soon as uh, he saw, yeah, then that is heavenly celestial beauty, oh, he was captivated. Then uh, there was a result that um, a, a grain and a Shakuntala Paras. Some of you may know there is a uh, book made by Kalidas, Shakuntala. This Shakuntala is supposed to be the most beautiful girl in the world, and she was born by this combination of Vishamitra Muni and Manoka. So. When this girl was born, then Vishamitra thought, Oh, I was advancing in my spiritual culture, and again I have been in chat. So he was going out at the same time. His wife, Menaka, oh, brought this girl before her, and little child is always attractive. She thought that, Oh, you have got such a nice girl. Eh? Such beautiful girl, and you are going away. No, no, you should take care. So there is a picture, very nice. That is a very famous picture that Menaka is showing Vishamitra Muni, the girl, and the Muni is like no more stone. Yes, there is a picture. That is. Then he went on. So there are chances of telio. Uh, <coughs> there are chances of telio. Just like a great sage, like Vishamitra Muni, he also failed. Failed for the time being. But Krishna says uh, that uh, this failure is not uh, antisum, uh, unsuccessful. As we have sometimes the proverb that failure is the pillar of success, so especially in the spiritual life. Uh, this failure uh, is not discouraging. This failure is not discouraging. Uh, so Krishna says that even one fails in completing his spiritual course, still uh, there is no loss on his part. Partha naiva yaha yaha means in this world. Na amutra amutra means next world. Vinasastasya vidyate. He will never vanquish. Vinasastasya vidyate. Nahi kalyana krit. Anyone who takes this auspicious line of spiritual culture, kasti durgatim tatagachyati, he will never fall down. And why? Na prapa punna kritam lokar anusitya shastati sama. Suchinam simatam gihe yoga bhrashta sanjayati abhijaya. He says that this failure yogi, one who is successful, he enters into the kingdom of God. That is a different thing. But one who is a failed student, what happens to him? Na prapa punna krita loka. He enters into the planet where pious living entities are allowed to enter. That means he gets into the higher planet. There are many planets within the universe, and the higher planets, uh, there are <coughs> more comforts, more duration of life, persons are more pious, religious, godly, as you make proceed, progress to the higher planets. These facilities are there, thousand times better than this planet. So Krishna says that even if he is failure, still he goes to such planets where pious men are elevated. Prapa punna kritan lokan and anushitta shastati samaha and the he remains there for a long duration of time. Now, in the heavenly kingdom, it is said that our six months is six months 
are equal to their one day. And similarly, they live there for 10,000 years. This description we get from Vedic literature. Just like in the Bhagavad Gita, you have got the duration of life of Brahma, uh, that is the highest planet. So, he, Krishna says that after, uh, uh, even if he is a failure, he gets promotion to the higher planet. But in the higher planet, you cannot remain for all the time. Kine punna, kine punna, punna matalokam visanti, when your past balance is uh, finished, then you are again uh, fallen in this, this earth. Kine punne, kine punne punna matalokam visanti, matalokam and this matuloka, <coughs> this earth. Now, even when he comes back here, he says, Lord Krishna says that he gets his birth, suchinam simatangi hi joga brasta vidayate. He takes his birth in a family, two kinds of family. One family, simatang. Simatang means very rich family. Very rich family. So, one who takes his birth in a very rich family, it should be understood that he was certainly a very pious man in his previous life. Oh. <coughs> oh, by good work, by pious work, <coughs> we get, uh, in our next life, we get uh, facilities, four kinds of facilities. What are they? Uh, Janma, Aishadya, Sutta, Sri. Janma Ishadya Sutatri. Janma means to get birth in very aristocratic uh, family, royal family, lord's family, rich family. Janma uh, <coughs> acquires a uh, large extent of wealth. Janma Ishadya Sutta. Sutta means becomes very learned scholar. Uh, so one who is learned scholar, <coughs> it is to be understood. That it is due to his past sleep. One who is rich man, he is to be understood that it is due to his past act in his last life. Janma is just Sutta Sri. Sri means beauty. And one who is very beautiful, uh, either male or female, it is to be understood that this is the result of his or her past work in the past life. Uh, so here it is said. The Suchinam Simatam Gehe Joga Bhrasta Sanjay. Suchinam means pious family. Pious family means Brahmin. They are Suchi. Suchi means all is pure. Suchi means Brahmins, means culture, Brahmins. They are all is pure. Their habits, their behavior, everything is pure. That is called Suchina. That is a greater facility. And uh, Simata. Rich, rich family. So the Yoga Bhrashta, after living for many, many d- days in the higher planets uh, where past uh, uh, people have entered, then when he again comes to this earth, he gets birth in a, either in a Brahmin family, Suchina, or in a great rich mercantile family. Suchinam Simla. Simatang is generally meant to reach mercantile family. <coughs> Just like you have got in your country, uh, Rockefeller family, Ford family, <coughs> there are many. In India also, there are Birla family, uh, uh, Bomber family. Every country, there are rich family. <coughs> so, either in a uh, purified family, uh, just like Brahmin, or in a rich family. So at least those who uh, sincerely begin spiritual life, so their next life is guaranteed uh, uh, as uh, human life, human form of life uh, for many days. So those who are rich in this world, or those who have got uh, birth in a very and uh, I mean the pious family, a uh, Brahmin family. They should understand that it is God's grace 
Ah, that I have got my birth with such so much facilities of life. Ah, why Suchinang? In a pious family, uh, one gets the chance of spiritual advancement. Ah. Ah. I shall say practically from my own life, I was fortunate to get my uh, I mean say birth in a very pious family. My father was very pious man, and uh, mm. I wanted <coughs> to imitate him in my childhood. Oh. Oh. Of course, our family was not very poor, but we are not very rich men. But my father was very pious man. Yeah. So he was worshipping Krishna. So I, I, in my childhood, I was five or six years old, I requested my father, the father, Give me this deity, I shall want. So Father purchased for me little Krishna, Radha, and he gave me. And I was imitating whatever foodstuff I was getting, I was offering to Krishna and eating. In this way, I got my life developed. And there was a temple in our neighborhood. So I was seeing the Krishna deity. Oh, I was thinking many things. I still remember. I was standing for hours together. Uh, so in this way, practically, <coughs> we can understand that these facilities uh, are given uh, by the Lord. The Lord is always prepared to give us facilities. <coughs> Simply, He wants to see that we are sincere. That's all. <coughs> there is a nice Verse in Srimad Bhagavatam. <coughs> Bhagavatam, Tattva Sadhanam Charanam Bhajam Hare, Bhajan Pakkuta Patetta Tu Jedi, Tattva Kuva Abhartha Ahut Amusakeng, Kuva Sri Artha Abhajatam Sadharma, Bhajatam Sadharma. Abhajatam Sadharma, yes. The, the purport of this verse is that tattva sadharmam. Sadharma means every particular person has got his prescribed duty of life. Every particular person. Uh, whatever he may be, in whatever country or whatever society, everyone has got his some designated duty that you are to do this. Now, here it is said that if he gives us his duty, prescribed duty, and by sentiment, by association, or by craziness or any way, he takes surrender unto Krishna. People may say, oh, these people are crazy. All right, even crazy. Somewhere or other, if he takes shelter unto Krishna, the Supreme Personality of God, when I say Krishna, that means God. Then what happens? Tattva sadhanam charanam vijam hare by sentiment or by any reason. Oh, there are many, there may be many reasons. If one takes shelter of Krishna, the Supreme Law. But bhajan, while he was worshipping or persecuting his spiritual rules and regulations, apakya, he does not become mature, but somehow or other falls down. Satya sadhanam charanam vijam hare bhajan. Bhajan means worshipping. Apakya, immature, and falls down. The Bhagavad Narad says in this Bhagavad, Tatra, Kuva, and Abhadra, Buddha, Mustaki. So, what is there in auspices for him there? Suppose he has fallen down. There is no inauspiciousness. But a person who does not uh, approach God, but uh, regularly uh, makes his uh, duties perfectly, what does he get? What does he get? That means he does not get any benefit of his life. But a person, even if he falls down, because he has taken shelter of the Supreme Law, oh, he is better. So these things are sanctioned by Srimad Bhagavatam and Bhagavad Gita 
and all Vedic literature, uh, that there is no harm if one is not able to fulfill his mission properly, a uh, half finished, is still. Why? Why he is not in, uh, lost the next slok? Uh, now, again, Lord said that either in a Brahmin family, very past family, or in a rich family, Athava, or Jogina meva kule bhavati bhimata. Jogina. In a family where persons are practiced through the yoga system. Jogina, bhimata. The jogina, jogina means either devotee or uh, meditator or great uh, philosopher in their family. Yogina me pakule bhavati bhimata. Bhimata means very intelligent. This transcendentalist, either philosopher or meditator, or great devotees of the Lord, they are considered the, and the, and the highest top of the human society. Bhimata. Etat bi dullavataram loke janma jad idrisham. Now, out of the three, Either he gets his birth in a uh, Brahmin family or in a rich family or in a family where people are, oh, the members, members are highly advanced in the yoga. Uh, so Krishna says the third one, third one is to be considered more fortunate. Third one, who has got his birth in the family of a yogi. Because one who has got his birth in a rich family, he may be misled and graduate. Naturally, it so happens. When a man gets the richest silver spoon in mouth, he thinks, oh, I have got so much money, my paternal property. Let me enjoy it. Oh, see, sometimes he becomes a drunkard, a prostitute hunter. Uh, and the robe, he becomes. Similarly, in a Brahmin family also, just like we have seen in India, there are many persons who are born in a big, uh, I mean, it's a very fast family. But uh, because he has taken his birth in a fast family, he thinks I am Brahmin. Oh, oh what I have to do? I am very fast family. The mistake in that way. So the degree. So in the past family or in the rich family, there is chance of degradation. But one who takes his birth in a family of yogi, devotee, oh, he has got better chance for cultivating the same spiritual culture from which in his past life he had fallen. Yeah, but Krishna says, Either he dullavatam. This is very rare that a man gets his birth, a parent, a yogi. Oh, this is very rare. But it is, he, is, he recommends him and he eulogizes this sort of family. Then, what is the facility of this family? Now, Lord says, Tatratam buddhi yogam lavate pobadhikam. In his previous birth, in his previous body, whatever he cultured, now he begins to remember. He begins to remember. I may tell you that those who have taken this society, Krishna consciousness very seriously, they are not ordinary persons. They must have had have had such culture in their previous life. Now they are again trying to revive that. Oh, it is said according to Bhagavad Gita, Tattvatam buddhi samjogam lavate pogo dehikam. Because that asset is there. Ah, suppose I make my bank balance, ah, 10,000 millions or something, big, very big, big balance. 
Now, as soon as my body is finished, oh, the bank balance is also finished. Oh, because the bank balance is not going with me. Oh, that remains in the bank uh, to be enjoyed by somebody else. But the spiritual culture, suppose if you have not 10,000, but even 10 percent you have done, that goes with you. So there is no loss. Then again you be, begin from 11 percent, from the 11 point you begin. So we should consider that when you get a chance of spiritual cultivation, uh, maybe 10 percent, 5 percent, or, or um, 50 percent, we should know that now we should finish the balanced percentage of cultivation. We must finish this life. Uh, I shall not take chance of another birth. Uh, that should be our determination. Uh, when I have come to this point, it must be understood that I, I had some asset in my previous life. So Krishna is giving me chance to make further progress. Now, I, in my past life, I could not finish this job somewhere or other, but that doesn't matter. Now this life I shall not allow you know, to miss this opportunity. That should be our determination. Huh? As soon as we begin some spiritual culture, tatratang buddhisang yoga labhate purvodeyukam. Purvodeyukam means according to the past life. He begins, he tries. Huh? Uh, you uh, gentlemen, boys who come here, there is an urge uh, from within that you want. This urge is due to your past previous uh, spiritual culture. This is understood if we believe Bhagavad Gita. So we should not make any more fall down. We should finish this business in this life. So that, according to Bhagavad Gita, as it is said, Tattadeham punarjanmanaiti vamiti tolti. Then after leaving this body, uh, then he does not take birth again in this material world where janma mitrajabhadi, repeated birth and death, diseases are there, but he comes back to me. Samasitam je padapallavam plavam mahatpadam punna jaso murare. Mahatpadam punna jaso murare. Murare murari means Krishna. One who takes shelter uh, under the lotus feet of Krishna, then uh, for him this place which is padang padang jad vipadang nati. Uh, a place where in every step there is danger. This material world is suppose that uh, <coughs> every step there is danger. Let's see uh, what we are doing. In all sense, culturing some uh, uh, spiritual process, and there are so many complaints. You see. We are not stealing. We are not, uh, um, I mean to say, making propaganda for some political purpose or some nothing, innocent thing you are doing. But still, uh, somebody comes forward and puts some danger. Mm -hmm. So this is such a place. Lord Jesus Christ, his only fault was that he was preaching God's message. He was crucified. So these things, are, is, this place is like that. Even if we are innocent, it still you will be put into nature. So that this place should be avoided. Padang padang jada vipada. Every step there is danger. So one who takes the spiritual culture, uh, for them this place is unfit. Unfit. Uh, my Guru Maharaj used to say that this place is not fit for any gentleman's living. <laughs> he wants to say like that. Uh, this place is unfit for any gentleman's way. 
Begin again. Ah, be perfect. Don't lose this chance. 